morning. First off, coffee. Right, coffee bought. What time is it? 6.30, Saturday morning. Bit of a mini football pitch. That's the view. Plenty of cyclists. It's the uh, the whole the um, tour down under in Adelaide. I think that starts next next week. I think it is. So you get all like top name cyclists from all over the world coming. <laughs> Uh, weather 38 today 38 looking to water oh that's hot no. I know that's for it hot but um, yes so we are back in Radelaide <laughs> gutted is not the word but on the plus side, next trip is booked for May. Uh, that's going to be a belter. I'm going to just quickly show, quickly show you around. I don't know whether I've done this before. I think I have, but uh, I'll do it again. Right, this is the posh part. This is the posh part of where I live. Well, even though it's all posh, but... Uh, so this is called the Marina Pier. <sighs> Fly! This is for... Uh, two, two to five minutes walk from my place. It's like a different world. This is what you could have, lads, if you didn't have fucking hundreds of boxes of Adidas sat there doing nothing. Get them sold and get a boat. Take the missus out. How nice is that? Or buy yourself an apartment even. Lovely or what? Jealous? Yes, jealous. Uh, weather this week's been red hot all week since I got back on uh, Monday night. It's been high, high 30s all, all the time. Uh, and yeah, today and tomorrow 38. So it'll be... Uh, Staying indoors with the aircon on. Uh, oh, I'll have a bit of a wander on the beach. Let's get a shot of you. Oh my god, flies. That's the only thing living here. Flies do, mate. Napping. So Go on the beach, on there. Quick walk. Yes, it is a trainer video. But like I said before, I don't just want to be sat in my living room. Opening boxes. I want some sort of other structure to the video. So 
that view. Sun just about to come come up in the distance. And I wouldn't mind living one of them. Get a few pairs of Jap Berlin salt. Oh my god, the flies. Where am I heading? Alright. So, let me get this uh, sorted so the camera's so I can see it. All right. Well, first of all, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching those Thailand videos I put out. Uh, comments were all pretty positive about doing the uh, location drops. So hopefully well definitely there'll be more this year uh, you'll have to put up with this from Adelaide uh, for a few months first but then the next one will be in May and it will be the best drop ever full stop it's going to be a belter. Yeah, to be honest, I enjoyed doing them actually, obviously. <laughs> but uh, no, thanks for all the comments and the likes and the shares and the watches and whatnot. Um, so, what we'll do is we shall finish this walk, get back home, and get on to the unboxing today is a big one so uh, we'll see you at home Right, back. Warm out there already. Sweat. Right. Living room drops. How depressing, eh? Uh, oh, I'm sweating, man. Uh, right. Big one here. Few to go. Few to get through and a few leftovers. Like right, one that was left over from the Thailand drops, which I'm absolutely staggered. Canadian tobacco Obviously, they're not going to be cheap, but You won't find these anywhere that are like in this condition brand new Never worn They're from I think 1984 Check them They're a UK 8.5 Canadian tobacco I'd keep them but they just I don't keep shoes in my size uh, right I've got the I've had these months I don't want anything if anyone wants these postage and that'll do they're fully wearable soles are flexible uh, summit made in Taiwan they are a bit damaged on the back but I'm sure some restorer could sort that out. I think it's just, I don't know what it is. I think it's just wear or something, but. Apart from that, they're a UK 6.5. 
Soles are fine. UK 6.5 postage and the yours. Uh, what else? Jeans, right. Someone's tried to re-glue these at some point. Apart from that, they're actually in not bad nick. The laces are there, the proper laces. Soles are fine. Just where can you see? They've just tried, they've just made a, well, they've made a botch of it. It's coming away on there. You'll need to pull the whole sole unit apart, I think. And where is it on there? They are a UK 85 also. Made in Indonesia, June 2004. Jeans. Uh, and last, that pair that I had before Christmas, ATP 2 Emotion, UK 9, more like a tennis, tennis style of shoe. They're brand new, never been worn. It's got the, uh, ATP tour on the tongue. They are made in Indonesia in January 93. Still got the uh well you can tell that's how much they haven't they haven't been worn. They're with the OG box. ATP two emotion. So that's what I've got left from previous goes. All right, let's get on to it for today then. Vintage to begin with. Made in Taiwan. Voyager it says U nine, I don't know that's a UK nine. Ooh. Then Rod. Obviously the glue's starting to show through but that's what you'd expect, they are brand new. Good, they're nice. Uh, they're from October 1982. 40 years old. Unworn. God, they're so unbelievably light. There's nothing to them. Yeah, lovely. Bit of a mark on there. Apart from that, I see the glue coming through. But gorgeous. UK nine Voyager OG box. See if there's a date on it. Right. Nice for the collection then. Voyager. All right, next. Nice 
nicely wraps up this one. How boring are these living room drops? Right, box. LA Trainer OG, UK 9. Got the card, pegs, tags, and the all important key to change them pegs. Ooh. to say whether they're no, they're not brand new UK 9 made in Vietnam February 2016 they're in, they're in excellent condition whatever they are they don't appear to be warm but going off the footbed there's a bit of wear inside the footbed Soles and mint. LA Trainer OG UK 9. Comes with all the tools, tags, card. Oh, Mr. Pair from the last drop, Jap Samoa. Vintage UK 7 They're, They'll be from the 80s as well Colour I've not come across before. They're fully wearable as well. I don't know what the sole a bit of wear to the end of the sole. Jap Samoa. Night Jogger Still everyone chasing these pairs, these Night Joggers I think in years to come, these are going to become a classic And they look in mint nick Yeah they are in great nick, no There's no marks on them at all no box unfortunately very nice then night jogger on the tongue UK 8 made in Vietnam July 2015 the only fault I can see is there's a bit of a uh, jean bleed on the tongue. That's all I can see. A bit there and a bit there. Apart from that there, they're mint. So Night Jogger UK 8. say the actual name ships jet blue I don't know what they are they are 
Night jogger. They're a big, big size. Tags are in the box. They're a UK 10. They are brand new. UK 10 comes with the card tags are in the box most definitely never been worn going off the soles night jogger so we've got a 10 and an 8 get them up together in case we use that as the uh, Thumbnail. Night jogger, UK 10. So that's an eight and a 10. With the card. Stickers on the back of the card saying they're a 10. SL72 Mark one little mark there Soles, pretty clean. So we'll look where these are from. Right, they are made in China, UK 85. They're from November of 97. SL 72. UK 8.5 There's no wear on the sole at all Pretty good though UK Topanga and They're also in, in fact In fact they're brand new Still got the cardboard inserts in them Yes they are, they're brand new Don't know the sizing because I've never owned these. Soles. Yep, still got the cardboard. Right, they are UK 8, made in China. October 2014. God, they're nearly 10. 10 years old already then. Where's time going? Topanga UK 8 brand new no tags or box but they are unworn that's crazy when you think that they're nearly 10 years old it's madness
always a, a surprise, isn't it? When it's always a teaser. London. Look a small size. I'm pretty certain that these these are the these are the ones that are the hardest to photograph these. Suede still mega soft. Soles are spot on. No wear to the soles at all. These are a UK 75 made in Vietnam June 2011. London, UK 7.5 Look at the size of the box Right, this has to be the biggest Adidas box I've ever seen out the size of that massive that'll cost 30 or 40 quid to post consortium silver stripes and it is can you see that I can't see ZX700 Consortium Original Stores UK 10.5. I mean that's ridiculous. I'm just going to show you that the box isn't it isn't even half full. That's how that's how empty the box is. Right, original paper AZX. Ah, oh, right. I've had the, I had these the other week. These ones, these ones are brand new with tags. Four, four pairs of spare laces. Yeah, they're nice, really nice. Consortium Consortium AZX That's in there Detail, The detail on them is amazing You can see that on there Leather and suede. AZX on the footbed. Soles brand new, obviously. You'd think so. Yeah, they're nice. Really well, really well made shoe. So they are brand new with tags, four, four spare laces, original paper, the box is massive. That's just, that's insane how big the box is. See, two of my hands big. Uh, right, ZX700 UK 10.5, I don't know how the size up. I would imagine they might size up small. 
definitely one size big them things so uh if you had a 10 will probably possibly fit in a 10. all right on to the next one what a mess to clean up UK 9.5 ZX500 OG EF which stands for Edifice it's a collaboration with Japanese stores sports store or fashion store oh god yeah I had them I had them long before Christmas but they're spare laces tags paper are in the box Yeah, there's there there's somewhere else as a, as a ZX 500 goes premium uh, premium materials used on these not footbed superb footbed super soft I own these brilliant uh, made in Vietnam February 2014 ZX500 Edifice UK95 Amazing shoe. They'll size definitely true to size if not bigger. Right, I'm just going to turn that camera off and turn it back off before the battery goes at 25 minutes. Right, back. All right, two to go for today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps me, helps me keep delivering the content and uh, helps with the algorithm of YouTube. And don't forget to smash that bell. Give it a share, give it a like or a dislike, whatever. Leave a comment. I always, always reply to the comments. All right. I've been pulled up on the name of this before, so Great Vates or Vates or come on lads, I don't know. This is a runner, UK nine. I own these and I love them. Look at that. Brand new with tags. She was a long distance marathon runner, for anyone that didn't know. That's her on the front of the tongue. If that'll, uh, must be the light, you can't see because of the light, but uh, yeah, tags are there. AKTIV, active against cancer. Footbed every step matters absolutely stunning shoe them I think as runners go I think the more you get older the more you get into runners instead of flat suede's mega fan of these UK 9 made in Vietnam November of 2014 I'm not even going to say the name Greet Vates that's what it says <laughs> that's what I'm going with All right, last one for today. Sorry it's been a long-winded one again, but... And we have... Well... 
according to that, it says Stan Smith 2 Junior, but it most definitely isn't Stan Smith. Because Old style SL72 tagged, yes, UK95. All the tags. I'm sure. I'm sure that store in the UK did collaborate uh, a re release of these, didn't they? But these aren't these. These are the real ones. They're a UK 9.5, made in Vietnam, January 09. So what's that? 14 years old. Brand new with tags. UK 9.5 SL72. Right, not a bad haul. Uh, if you're interested in any pairs, be quick, give us a message on Twitter, Messenger, or Instagram. All my details will be in the description box below. Uh, we'll finish with a tuner. Uh, I don't know whether I've played this before. I've got that many bloody tunes. That many tunes that you can't actually play because they're all um, copyrighted as well. That is my other love, obviously, if you can tell. Adidas and tunes. All right. Massive thanks for watching, everyone. We shall uh, see you on the next one. Huh? Could be any time. Speakers on. Make sure I get the correct mix. Enjoy.
Thank you.